Postmortem inspection of meat animals. Postmortem inspection of meat animals is the examination of dress carcasses, their organs including blood, after slaughter to produce wholesome meat in a hygienic manner and an adequate amount of light by a qualified meat inspector. The main purpose of postmortem examination is to detect and eliminate abnormalities including contamination to ensure wholesomeness of meat for human consumption. Facilities for postmortem inspection Each inspection point should have well distributed lighting with at least 540 lux units intensity. There must be one or more hand washing units with a supply of hot and cold running water. Sterilizers for the complete immersion of knives, saws, cleavers, or essential. Examination of the head. Examination of the outer surface and eyes. Followed by inspection of the gums, lips and tongue for foot and mouth disease, any form of stomatitis, actinobasilosis and actinomycosis. Incisions are usually made on the internal and external masseter muscles for the presence of cysticercus bovis. Incisions of the retropharyngeal, submaxillary and parotid lymph nodes should be done for tuberculous lesions and abscesses as tonsils of cattle and pig frequently harbor tuberculous bacilli. Examination of lungs Visual examination of the lungs followed by palpation for any indication of pleurisy, pneumonia, tuberculosis, facialosis and hydatid cyst. The bronchial and mediastinal lymph nodes should be incised and examined. The lung substance should be exposed by a long incision from the base to the apex of each lung. The picture showing the lymph nodes of the lungs. Examination of the heart. The pericardium should be examined for any evidence of pericarditis and hemorrhages. The heart ventricles are incised and inner surfaces are observed. More attention is given to the presence of petechial hemorrhages on the endocardium and to the cysticerci and hydatid cyst. A flabby condition of the myocardium, if seen, is indicative of septic condition in the cow. Examination of the liver A visual examination of the liver followed by palpation with particular emphasis on fatty changes, actinobacillosis, abscesses and some parasitic infestations such as hydatid cyst, cysticercus bovis and the larva stages of esophagostomum radiatum. The portal lymph nodes and large bile ducts should be incised and inspected. Gallbladder is also examined and palpated wherever necessary. Examination of the gastrointestinal tract. The entire GI tract is closely observed and palpated. The serous mucosa may show the evidence of tuberculosis or actinobacillosis while the anterior aspect of the reticulum may reveal the penetration and the presence of a foreign body embedded in its inner side. The gastric and the mesenteric lymph nodes should be routinely examined for tuberculosis. Examination of the kidney Kidney and renal lymph nodes along with the adrenal glands should be incised and carefully examined. Examination of the spleen The surface and substance of the spleen should be examined for tuberculosis, hematoma or the presence of infracts with a visual examination, palpation 
and if necessary incising its matrix. Examination of uterus. Uterus should be viewed, palpated and if necessary incised with care being taken to prevent contamination of the carcass. In cases of brucellosis, the uterus must not be incised or handled. Examination of udder. Since udder is edible in some parts of the world, they should be carefully examined by giving multiple deep incisions about 5 cm apart. The high incidence of mastitis makes udder objectionable as food. In cases of brucellosis, the udder should not be incised. Examination of testis For human consumption, the testis should be carefully examined and palpated. Postmortem inspection of sheep and goats Postmortem inspection of sheep and goats need less detailed postmortem inspection than other animal species. The carcass should be checked for satisfactory bleeding and setting. Lungs should be checked for parasitic infections and liver for facial losses. Postmortem inspection of pigs. Postmortem inspection of pigs is the same as carried out for the bovines. Skin should be examined for short eruptions, tail for necrosis, feet for abscess formation and udder for mastitis or actinomycosis.